Hey everybody, welcome to you in Paltry Extension channel of Engineer Rafat Khater. Today, I am going to talk about avian influenza disease or bird flu disease, which is considered one of the most dangerous viral diseases that affect avian causing an epidemic may kill many millions of birds and may affect persons who contact with affected birds causing the death of some of them. This video contains etiology, hosts, incubation period, transmission, clinical signs, gross lesions, prevention, and treatment. Avian influenza or bird flu is a highly contagious viral disease affecting the respiratory, digestive, and nervous system of many species of birds causing huge economic losses. Avian influenza virus H5N1 is able to change its genetic material and becomes able to infect humans, causing an epidemic among humans. Etiology The causative virus is one of orthomexoviridae family type A, which have one nucleic acid only, RNA. Also, there are two other types, B and C, affect humans. Avian influenza viruses belong to type A are divided into subtypes according to the antigen of the hemagglutinin HA and the neuraminidase enzymes NA projection on their surfaces. There are 16 hemagglutinin subtypes and 9 neuraminidase subtypes of influenza A viruses. However, all highly pathogenic avian influenza, HPAI, belong to either H5 or H7. For example, H7N7 was the causative of foul plague, and H5N2 was the cause of the epidemic in USA in 1983 and 1984. Avian influenza viruses are very sensitive to most detergents and disinfectants. Infectivity of the virus is rapidly destroyed by iodine, formaldehyde, diluted acids, and ammonium ions. Avian influenza viruses lose its infectivity after 15 minutes at 56 degrees centigrade and were destroyed after one minute only at 100 degrees centigrade. Hosts. Avian influenza viruses can affect the chickens, turkeys, ducks, geese, and many species of wild birds, but waterfowl are resistant to AIV. Incubation period. Incubation period of avian influenza is variable. It may range from a few hours to a few days depending on the strain and dose of virus, route of exposure, and the age of birds. It's usually from 3 to 7 days. Transmission. Wild waterfowl and domestic ducks act as a natural reservoir of avian influenza viruses by carrying them in their intestinal tracts and shedding them in their feces. The viruses are spread to susceptible birds through inhalation virus particles from nasal and respiratory secretions and from contact with feces of the infected birds. Also, the viruses are spread from flock to flock by contaminated feed, stuffs, drinking water, weapons, feed trucks, egg flats, and people carrying virus on their clothes and shoes. The main forms of avian influenza disease in poultry. Infection with avian influenza viruses goes to main forms, depending on the infecting virus strain, affected pairs, and the environmental factors. 1. The low pathogenic avian influenza, LPAI, it causes only mild symptoms such as ruffled feathers, drop in egg production with little mortality. 2. The highly pathogenic avian influenza, HPAI, it spreads very rapidly, causing very high mortality, can approach 100% within 48 hours. Therefore, it was known foul plague. Clinical signs. The clinical signs are extremely variable depending on the virulence of the virus, affected species, age, and the environmental factors. The highly pathogenic avian influenza viruses, such as H5N1, the disease appears suddenly and spreads rapidly in the affected flock. And birds may die either without the previous signs or minimal signs of depression, inappetence, and ruffled feathers. In addition to previous signs, 
when or a combination of the following signs may appear in the sick parts. Oedema of the head and neck, comb and wattles may be swollen and become blue because of cyanosis. Respiratory signs such as coughing, sneezing and rails, sinusitis with nasal discharge. 5. Profuse watery diarrhea. 6. Neurological signs such as torticollis and ataxia. 7. Bilateral swelling of the lower eyelids with watery discharge. 8. Hemorrhage on unfeathered areas of skin, especially legs which have light red color mixed with blue color. 9. In layers, besides two other signs, affected hands may lay at first soft shell eggs and then stop laying. Gross lesion. There is a die after prolonged clinical course show gross lesions consisting of petechial hemorrhage and larynx, trachea, epicardial, fat and proventriculus. There is subcutaneous oedema around the head, neck and hook. In layers, the ovary may be hemorrhagic and the peritoneal cavity is filled with yolk from rupture over causing peritonitis. The present situation of avian influenza in Egypt. Highly pathogenic avian influenza viruses H5N1 and H5N2 are present and spread in Egypt since 2006. Low pathogenic avian influenza virus H9N2 are present in Egypt also. All the vaccines of these viruses are available in Egypt and are used in the poultry farms, but they are not used in vaccinating domestic birds. Therefore, Avian influenza disease still present and spread in Egypt. Prevention and treatment. There is no treatment for affected birds, but we can protect our farms by carrying out the following procedures. 1. Carrying out strictly the procedures of biosecurity for decreasing the risk of contamination. 2. Avoiding direct contact with wild birds, especially migrant, water, fowl, and protecting domestic poultry from contact with the feces of wild birds. 3. At the end of each cycle, we must remove the contaminated litter and clean, then disinfect the house from inside and outside, and all equipments and clothes and shoes of workers. We must fumigate the litter of the new flock with formaldehyde inside the house before the arrival of new chicks. 5. Vaccinating the new chicks with avian influenza dead vaccine according to this program. Vaccinating broilers. At the age of 5 days, vaccinating with H9N2 plus ND dead vaccine injection. At the age of 9 to 10 days, vaccinating with H5N2 dead vaccine injection. Vaccinating replacement flocks of layers and breeders. At the age of 10 to 11 days, vaccinating with H5N1 dead vaccine injection. At the age of 25 to 26 days, vaccinating with H9N2 plus ND dead vaccine injection. At the age of 50 days, vaccinating with H5N1 dead vaccine injection. At the age of 110 days, vaccinating with H9N2 dead vaccine injection. At the age of 115 days, vaccinating with H5N1 dead vaccine injection. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to press subscribe, like and share. If you have any inquiry related to this video, please comment and I'll reply with suitable answer. I'll see you.